before we end, I wanted to um, acknowledge and, um, and announce some native plant awards uh, to two couples that um, have done some fantastic work um, in Kentucky. So let me share my screen real quick. Okay, so this is the first year that we're gonna give out awards. Um, you know, there's so many folks that are doing some great work in the state, um, but um, I really wanted to highlight uh, two, two groups of folks that have done some fantastic work. So first, the Native Plant Stewardship Award. Um, so this award uh, this year is going out to Jeff Nelson and Liz Niehoff. Um, and uh, this is an award that actually is, is gonna be given out by the Office of Kentucky Nature Preserves, um, but the Native Plant Society is now also gonna adopt uh, giving out uh, Native Plant Awards as well. Uh, so this award is, 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 is being given to Jeff and Liz uh, from both organizations. Um, so just a, a, a background on Jeff and Liz. Um, Jeff Nelson uh, was born in San Francisco, California and grew up in Sunnyvale, California. He received a BS in chemistry from the University of California at Santa Barbara. And Liz Niehoff was born at home in rural McCracken County, Kentucky. Uh, she received a BA in sociology from San Jose San State University in, in, in San Jose, California. Jeff, Liz, and their son Aaron moved to, from California to McCracken County, uh, in Kentucky in 1987. So after building their house on their 10 acres, uh, the family has spent the last 30 plus years restoring the property from farmland to native woodland. Uh, Jeff was employed as an IT director uh, at of the, uh, um, of the Paducah Independent School District for 15 years, retiring in 2008. Um, so hence, Jeff is our webmaster. He is an IT guru. Um, Liz uh, was self-employed for many years as a gardener and landscape designer and has spent much of the past 30 years removing exotic invasive species from their 10-acre restoration. They have been members of the Kentucky Native Plant Society since the early 1990s, and Jeff has been on the board of KMPS since 2017. Uh, since 2019, they have shared responsibilities as nature preserve monitors at Metropolis Lake State Nature Preserve in McCracken County. And as lifelong amateur naturalists, Jeff and Liz love exploring Kentucky and learning about the rich diversity of the Commonwealth's many ecosystems. So I, I can't say enough about Jeff and Liz. I absolutely love, love them so much. Um, you know, from their work on invasive species, uh, Jeff's work in, in now using iNaturalist and, and mapping uh, different uh, interesting plants that he finds, uh, rare species updates, um, general preserve monitoring. And of course, uh, Jeff is also our webmaster and esteemed um, board member. Um, the restoration of their, their, pro their property is just fantastic. Um, they also do native orchid restoration on their property uh, and work with partners to increase, increase native orchids. Um, and uh, they've volunteered for our roadside native plant project. Um, so just, just some amazing people. Um, not only that, they're amazing nature photographers. Um, you know, Jeff co-manages the Native Plant Society um, social media pages, and, and uh, the, their content is regularly shared and loved by thousands of nature enthusiasts. And I also wanted to just, <laughs> to just mention, you know, often when Jeff posts different photos, Liz is always hiding in the background, so I'm always trying to find where Liz is in the photos. Um, you can see her right here, and she's also an amazing poet. So um, here's a, 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 a poem by Liz. Red fox sits beneath the black cherry tree, knowing only gray fox perched above could climb it. With patience of Job, eyes, ears on point, red fox sits and waits for rain of cherries from gray fox's feast. So uh, thank you, Jeff and Liz, for all of your work. Um, from, and, and this is from the Native Plant Society and the Office of Kentucky Nature Preserves. So um, Jeff and Liz, I don't know if you uh, want to say a few words. Where are you guys? Can, can you? Yeah, yeah, we'll say a couple of things. 
Can we highlight? Hello, everybody. <laughs> Let's see. Make sure that you guys are spotlighted so that we can see yep. you. Okay. Yep, we are. Okay. <laughs> Let me tilt the thing. Uh, yeah, just thank you for that. That's that's really nice, and yeah. and thank you for uh, everything. And uh, uh, like Liz said, when we started, we're now uh, thirty years into a two hundred year restoration project. Uh, and so uh, uh, we just love native plants and all the critters that uh, depend on the native plants. So indeed, thank you all very much. Awesome. Um, this will go on. Just <laughs> never give up. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Um, and look to our newsletter for more information about Liz and, and Jeff. Um, we're going to be um, uh, creating a, an article about this. Um, all right. So I will just uh, want to mention one other award um, uh, that we'll be giving out and highlight the work of Ann Milligan and Stephen Brown uh, with the Native Plant Diversity Award. Um, so some of you folks may know Ann Milligan um, from social media posts on Facebook um, from the Louisville Seed Swaps. Um, so I'll give you a little bit more background on Ann and Stephen. So they currently reside in semi-rural Southeast Jefferson County. Ann is an oil painter and Stephen Brown is the, uh, an author and historian. So over the past 12 years, they have transformed their yard into a native plant sanctuary. So I know many of you all know the work of Doug Tillamy's work, bringing nature home, promoting native plants and gardening, um, among other things. Well, Ann and Stephen are just as inspirational and are our Kentucky um, heroes uh, in that regard. Um, and just show us how the power of just a few individuals can start a movement and inspire others to join them. So over the past 12 years, they've transformed their yard and realizing the amount of native seed that they were producing, they decided to share their love of native seeds and start um, seed swaps. And that has been just wildly popular um, throughout Jefferson County. Um, and they just wrote a book, um, I have it here called, oh, you can't see it because of my background, but uh, Let the Earth Breathe, and I encourage you to um, find that and, and get yourself a copy to, to, to learn more about the details of, of Ann and Stephen's work um, with their native plant restoration in their yard. So this is a uh, Anne um, also just recently started a um, nonprofit, Let the Earth Breathe, um, to, uh, about um, this restoration process and the seed swaps. Um, and there's also some really great Facebook groups um, for the seed swaps uh, to join, particularly if, in your, if you're in that region. Um, and Anne just wrote an article for the Native Plant Society on this process and encourages everybody to start their own seed swaps across the state. So those are just photos of the recent seed swaps. Um, but I just, I've just loved watching um, over the past couple of years, this develop and so excited that um, Ann and Stephen have uh, published a book. So um, Ann, I don't know if you are on here. Um, I am, but I don't know how to make myself. Okay, Jeff will, spot, Jeff will spotlight you. Um, okay, thank you, Jeff. <laughs> All right, so do you wanna say a few words? Oh wait, are you spotlighted yet? Well, there we are. Hey, all right. First of all, I just wanted to say really quickly because we're almost at the end that how much I've enjoyed this, this uh, symposium. I've, I've been here since the beginning today and am absolutely amazed at the amount of uh, work that's being done. Botanists are, amazing people in the world. I'm so proud of all of you and uh, everything that you're doing everywhere around Kentucky. I'm really, really impressed. Aren't we? We're oh, it's very got, impressed. It's remarkable. Right. So what we are in Kentucky is we're suburban, we are uh, suburbanites. We, we love the wild, but we live in suburbia. And our job is to make sure that suburbia uh, plant native species in our yards. And we want it to start with our neighborhood and we want it to spread out to our uh, city through regions. And then we want it to spread from our regions 
around the uh, state. And I uh, just wanted to say that Margaret Shea at Drop Seed Nursery is sort of the core, she's sort of the native plants guru of our area. And when we started our project, she's who we went to. And in the end, she'll be the one we go to. Just uh, such a resource here. And we're so, so honored to be a part of extending what they're doing at Drop Seed Nursery out to um, suburbia. So thanks so much for asking us. And if you want the book, you will you can learn everything about where we're at and where we're going, we hope we're going, at letttheearthbreathe.org. You can buy the book there. You can read up on what we're doing. You can keep up with what we're doing on uh, letttheearthbreathe.org. And also you can buy the book, Let the Earth Breathe on Amazon uh, by just clicking in Let the Earth Breathe uh, book, and also uh, on our website, lettheearthbreathe.org. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, all right, let's see. So I was um, going to open this up for um, any questions or comments. Let me see. Um, originally, I was going to do a... Um, and native plant stakeholders updates for folks um, that are doing some really great work uh, across um, the state on, on other native plant projects. Uh, we don't have too much time, but I encourage folks, uh, you know, if you're whether an organization or an individual, if you're working on a really awesome native plant project, uh, you know, write an article for the Native Plant Society and, and we can uh, and highlight your work. Um, let us know what you're doing. Um, um, and just and just communication. Um, and yeah, Heidi, do we have any uh, questions or comments that has come in or anything? There was one question for you. Uh, if we find a population of an unusual or rare wildflower, what is the best way to contact you with info or photos? Okay. Um, yeah, so um, I could provide my uh, email um, if you wanted to email me directly. I know um, what Vanessa had talked about with um, iNaturalist and, and our, you know, rare plant um, uh, volunteer programs that we're trying to start on iNaturalist. That's also a good way, um, you know, with rare plants, of course, we obscure our data. Um, but, you know, if you put a rare plant on iNaturalist, you will get contacted by me or Vanessa or other folks at, at Nature Preserve and, and, and we'll get that. But yeah, I, I can put my uh, email down um, as well um, if anyone would wanna contact me. Jeff, you got something? Uh, yes, I do. I have a question. When are y'all coming down here? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 